welcome back to my channel. So I've took my little break, it's been a little over a week. I'm sure it's a little over a week, yeah it's about 9 or 10 days since I've actually sat down and filmed. So I feel a lot better now, a lot better, I feel like I'm ready to come back and start doing videos again. Now these things weren't all purchased in one go, the things that I bought yesterday I will uh, share but that was the reason that I'm doing this video, it's sort of giving me the kick up the bum to start filming again because I want to start using these things and I can't do because I want to film them. So anyway, we'll start off with some metallic acrylic paint. Now these are the Deco Art and I got the Shimmering Silver, the Splendid Gold, the Glorious Gold, Champagne Gold and white pearl and I have swatched these out in my messy messy swatch chart but they're just all here now I thought that these would be good for straight up backgrounds if I didn't want to do anything fancy and I just wanted to paint a nice shiny background then that's what I'm going to use I haven't used them yet but I am planning on using one of them tonight actually on the page before I forget as well it's not turned up yet but I have got the Kirby Roseanne's poster book the Anamorphia one that should be turning up uh, tomorrow I think I'm really really looking forward to having that because I do love all of Kirby's boots so it would be nice to have it as a, a big print so that's that some really random things these are nail art um, dotters I have used them I have tested them out but they're really good for getting really fine dots with uh, well I use them for white acrylic paint as you can see there's a little bit on the end but they're all different sizes and I just think they're fantastic for that because I think I was having troubles with um, one of my white gel pens and it was really irritating the life out of me so I was using the uh, the other end of a paintbrush so I was just dipping that into the paint but it was creating two big circles like while I was trying to make stars so I got this and this is ideal because the pointy ends are so tiny so I can get really really fine dots and again that was off Amazon super duper cheap so considering that I've been having troubles with gel pens I wanted to try an acrylic paint pen I'm not overly keen on the white Posca pens I like the black ones I'm not that keen on the white ones so I thought I'd try these I have to take a couple out and put them on the side again I'm not using them yet <laughs> but you get two black and I think eight is it eight it can't be it's six so you get six white and two black in this pack and I thought you know it was cheap enough I thought I'd give it a go it come up on the the recommendations thing so I will give them a good test tonight and let you know how I get on with them super duper cheap now my husband picked this up from the local supermarket for me I'm not a subscriber of colour in heaven I just buy them when I feel like I'm going to actually colour in them so I've not got a million and one boots on my shelf that are not getting touched and I did like the look of this to be honest he bought this and then brought it home and then I looked it and thought I would have bought it anyway but yeah it's really nice and I, it, it reminds me um, of digital art can anyone let me know if that's what it actually is because it's quite grayscale and I see a lot of um, pictures like this on Etsy to download so is it digital art? I'm not sure there's some really nice pictures and there's men in this one as well you don't find men all that often that, that, this picture here I think her face should have been to the left a little bit uh, uh, her hair looks a little bit skew if like it should be pushed over a little bit that's one thing I did notice but yeah there is men in this one that would be a nice Christmas one as well with the reindeer and some Halloween -y pictures as well that would be nice for Valentine's Day That'd be really nice. So yeah, I'm happy that he picked that up for me. And that is the Fantasy Figures special, special, special words. See, because I've not sat down in over a week, I can't speak. But yeah, it, I'm sure it's digital like this. Or am I thinking, thinking completely wrong here? I don't know. Anyway. I got some new blenders. Now, they're not as good as my other blenders that I use now I did type in just ink blenders on Amazon and I have tested them out and I do prefer my makeup blenders so I in in future I'll just stick with the makeup ones. there's a lot more it's a lot more dense the makeup ones 
it doesn't uh, blend out the colour as well. I've got it all over my finger now. It doesn't colour, it uh, doesn't blend out the colour as well with these. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed in these. I will use them, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Again, they were off Amazon. Now this next purchase I got on the, it was the Prime Day, and I don't even know how this worked out. The the bag is a bit smashed. Um, the, the rubber and the um, the blender, these are all separate. I just put them in here because I'll use them with this, and I kept it in the bag because I know it's going to be messy. But this, I couldn't work it out. They came up on the Prime Day deals, and I added them to my basket. I think it was like ten pound from twelve pound, and then I had a couple more things in my basket, and I went to check out, and this was just zero. There was no charge on it, and I checked if I had a gift card balance. I didn't. It was just zero for whatever reason. So I'd ordered them, and they come the next day. And then I tried to do it again to see if it was just a glitch or, you know, so I could share it online. But when I did it again, it was trying to charge me the full amount. So I really don't know what happened there. But these are just pastel pencils. They're just basic pastel pencils, just a skin tone set. And I thought it'd be a good idea to have a good play around with these. I have got another pastel set. But I thought, with these just being the skin tones, It'll sort of guide me with what colours I'm meant to be using so I'm not sort of aimlessly picking colours out because I'm not really that good with pastel pencils or pastels in, in, in all shapes and forms. So yeah. yeah, I don't know what went on with that, I really really don't but I'm happy nonetheless. I do keep them in that bag just in case they decide to go everywhere. Now you have seen these but I thought it was worth, no is it? I thought it was worth mentioning. Because I do get comments on my videos, what are the plastic little sheets that I use behind my colouring pages to protect the page behind. And it's just these. And they're so cheap. I know many is in here. A pack of 100. I will link them. I, I think I link them in every single video now. Because like I said, I get asked a lot. And they're just ideal if you're using ink, water mediums, even just pencil to stop um, you know, like indentations on the page behind. I just think they're ideal and they're reusable. You can use them over and over again if you get paint on them just let the paint dry then wipe it off uh, with clean water it's it's a no-brainer with me with these now uh, what else have we got another paper now i'll take a chance with this one i have got the the strathmore tone tan paper but i cannot blend on that paper to save my life uh, I do use it a lot, you'll see my all my finished pages, I still do use it a lot because it's expensive and I want to get it used up. But I thought I'd take a chance with this and when it first turned up, I love the colour of it, it's in the, um, is it GSM? They've got 200 GSM, so it only just fits through my printer, just, and my printer's on the way out as well. But when I started colouring on it, it is so unbelievably toothy, you would not believe. Prismas, um, any soft pencils was just terrible on it. But I did try the Polychromos, and this is the page that I have completed using this paper. And I downloaded this picture of it's I can't remember the name of the artist, but it's very, very textured. If I bring that down and then zoom you in, that might be a little bit easier to show you. But it is super duper duper textured. But because of the page that this is, I think it adds to it. I really, really do. I think it turned out absolutely superb. It's made all the, the white bits pop. I've not gone ahead with the background because I didn't know how it would react with water. And I was really happy with the finished illustration. I didn't want to chance destroying it. But yeah, for this sort of page, or even a couple of Hannah Carlson ones, if I stencil them on, uh, trace them on rather, I think this paper will be alright, it's definitely different and I need to test it with paint and acrylic and, and pastels, it might be good with pastels as well with being so toothy. So yeah, I am, I'm, in the end I'm happy with that anyway and I think that was about £6 for 50 sheets. So yeah, really reasonable price and it is craft paper though, yeah I will warn you it's craft paper. Now I did go ahead after doing my um, my colour pencil collection video I went ahead and bought the Derwent Colour Soft now I need to get the other pencil case I'll be right back 
Right, there's a little story that comes with this. Now, this is the 72 set. I have already took them out and put them in my own pencil case, just this one. And I saw on Amazon that they did. It was a tub, a tub of 72 for 90 pounds. So I thought, instead of paying the 99 for these, I'll save that nine pound because I never keep the tin. Once I've shown this now in the video, I won't keep this tin. So, I went ahead and got the tub and I thought I've saved myself a little bit of money there and then I bought the pencil case at the same time and I was sat here swatching the colours and I worked out that there was, was it three or four of each colour but only 24 colours so you had like loads of backups and I thought that can't be right so the, it wasn't the full range of colours even though it said on the Amazon advert the full range of 72 set it wasn't it was only 24 different colors so to cut the long story short after going round roundabouts with amazon over and over again sending them screenshots to prove that on the listing it says that it's the full range of colors and i was expecting this and this is what came i sent them back got a full refund and the next day i ended up ordering these but just be warned don't do the same trick as i did because that annoyed the life out of me I honestly having to prove to Amazon that it, it wasn't um, it wasn't what I wanted why they couldn't just take the pencils back I don't know anyway so I have popped them in this pencil case wrong way around this cute little one uh, and these are all the colors and I absolutely adore these pencils as you can see <laughs> I've only had them about two weeks now a week and a half I feel out of breath I'm definitely not used to uh, this filming again and I did go ahead and get my nails done uh, due to stress I'd bit all my nails down and I thought I can't sit here on film with horrible nails so I did go ahead and get them done and I got little diamonds on my ring fingers uh, yeah so I absolutely love these pencils I love them that much that I saw on Amazon but this little set here of six pencils that came in this was only five pound so if you're wanting to test colour soft i would thoroughly recommend these i will link them down below they're just five pound for that little set i can move that tin now but yeah i adore them i adore them so that brings me to the next purchase so let's neatly put these when we're going to put them without the risk of dropping them so the tin can be moved now so I've got a whole baggie full of goodies in here. So let's start going through these. I'll start off with the pencils because it goes with what I've just been talking about. I've got one polychromos as well, one uh, in cream, but I've already put that away. So I'm not getting everything here. There you go with them. Right, I can go there. So the colour soft. These are the backups that I got of the colour soft because I absolutely adore them and I thought these are the colours that I'm gonna go through uh, more often. And I found a shop uh, in the middle of Manchester yesterday. We went shopping, me and my husband and went for dinner, like a day day, so it was really nice. Um, I'll talk about that though in a different video. But I got these as backups and I was absolutely elated when I saw they did the colour soft, they did ink tents, um, light fast pencils, the drawing pencils, there was loads, there was loads anyway that was open stock. I did take like a little, a little 15 second video because I was showing Kirsty, I sent her a little video. If I can manage to get that off my phone and uh, onto this video, I'll put it over here somewhere. It is huge, you walk in the shop upstairs and it's more like, um, oh, how can I explain it? You know, like your stationary sort of stuff, like your cutesy stationary stuff and your quirky things and your things that you wouldn't find all that, of, uh, all that often in shops. But then there's a downstairs and the downstairs is huge. It's like a big warehouse down there and there's just everything. Everything arts and crafts that you can think of is down there in that shop. I will leave it linked down below because I can't remember the name of the shop. So I got some colours that I was mis mis misking, <laughs> missing of the Derwent drawing pencils as well. There was a couple of um, backups that I got that I know I'm going to use. 
So they are them ones. I think I spent £44 in that shop. And then there, it was £40 in the next shop that I'm going to show you. But yeah, I've got all backups now. I was so pleased that I found that shop. And it's not necessarily local. It takes us about 30 to 35 minutes to drive there. But it's local enough that I could pop there, you know, once every couple of months. So, the next art shop I got... It was these two and then I've just got these two didn't I? So I just got two Posca pens in black. Now the reason that I got these is you know my black acrylic backgrounds that I love to do. Sometimes the little itty bitty bits that are so irritating to do with a little paintbrush. I thought these would be an excellent idea. So I just got a, a 0 0.7 and um, is that a 1.3? I haven't actually opened these up yet to have a look. Let's have a look now. Let's have a little nose there. So that's that one. Yeah, I just thought that these would be a good idea and they'd actually save me time instead of uh, using my miniature paint brushes. This might be a better idea. So. This is the smallest one, which is a tiny, tiny nib. So that should do the job of what I'm wanting it to. And then this one should be slightly bigger, yep. So they're perfect, perfect for what I want. Now I've not swatched these out at all. I think I'm gonna do a separate video on swatching these out. And I'm gonna end up breaking, oh, I've not done. I thought I was gonna break the box. Oh, and that other store, actually, I'm forgetting. The other art store, I got a Sakura Jelly Roll Glaze in white. Uh, and then I got backups of the black glaze. Because, do you remember me telling you that I got, I got loads of these backups off Amazon? They weren't the glaze ones, they were just matte black. So I can just use them as normal pens. I'll give some to my son for uh, school. So yeah. I ended up getting all of everything that was left there. I just purchased them all because I know that I'm going to use them. So, I mean, it was that three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Eight of them. So, this one is the Ink Tense Paint Pan Set number one. I know that the number one and a number two. And then this is the uh, Graffiti Paint. Now, this really did spark my curiosity when I was in the shop having a look at all the different things the colours look so unique and I thought that they'd be fabulous for backgrounds so let me take the plastic off I'm not going to be able to do this yeah, there we go. so you do get a little water brush a little miniature one and you get your sponge and whatnot so you can fill that with water I know the colours don't look much there but I'm hoping when we swatch them out they will be absolutely beautiful but look at the colours here and you wouldn't think, think that with these I can't speak today but that was my first impression of Ink Tents when I saw them it was actually in this shop that I bought these from I was like I don't understand what the fuss is all about with these pencils they look dull, they look dark but and that one's just dropped out but now I know why they're so popular and these ones are a lot more vibrant than them I just thought it'd be interesting to try out, especially them ones. I'm really, really excited about trying them. Right, so all this rubbish can just get put on the floor for now. So I will do them in a different video and I'll swatch them out and take my time so I'm not rushing. But they're nice little additions. Are they the same size? Yeah, they're the exact same size. So the next shop that I went into got face masks and everything in here. That one needs chucking away. Um, yeah, just some cute things. Yes, because I got some bobbles for Isabel. This little cute store, it was like a Japanese store of all stationery stuff. Oh, it was so cute. There was loads of stuff as well my son would have liked, but he needs to be with us to pick his own stuff. And they're just little um, post-it notes, but you've got a polar bear eating at Sunday and a carrot. <laughs> 
and look how adorable this is i could not it was literally right at the front of the store so loads of little ones it was like it was calling for me loads of little ones i should do it like that all the little ones i was calling her name <laughs> it's so adorable it's just a pen it's just a normal pen but everybody needs pens don't they and i think it was it was 80p this 80p the stuff in there was so so cheap i mean i think that was about 70p and that was a pound and there was so many things so many things but we was um running out of time so it was sort of quick grab grab whatever you could so yeah but he's just adorable i need to think of a name for him i like toby toby's my name <laughs> and the very last thing is i've got some um, more acrylic paint from hobbycraft just one second Now I can put all this stuff away, I can get the swatch in and uh, put it all away. Now the reason that I got these, I have got the Arteza acrylic uh, paints and I don't like them. Half of, them, it's not even half actually, three quarters of them are glossy and I can't use them for the purpose of what I want to use them for. Um, and they're not opaque at all. So I originally was going to get the decal art ones but they were about £2.50, £3.50 each on Amazon. Um, so I thought, I'll just try this cheaper brand and they were on offer for 180 each. So I know that there's not a massive difference there, but it says that the matte, there was matte and gloss and pearl. So what I would like to use these for is um, an acrylic wash on the pages and then go over the top with coloured pencil. I haven't got many colours. Oh yes, that's definitely matte. Lovely jubbler. Uh, I haven't got many colours that can go in there and rub that paint off that I could do that with so I, I bought these and I've literally just made a mess so I got this green I got uh, what colour does it say what colour it is on the front or is it on the side um, I don't think it says a colour it doesn't so that's just a grey it's a warm a cool grey a warm grey your green, two different blues, uh, three different pinks, because it's me. Well, I think that that one, the muted pink, is probably my favourite one actually. Uh, we've got a coral, an orange, a purple, a red, and then a lavender. I think I've got a nice selection of colours there. I've basically got nearly every single one of, of one available. I didn't want any of the really darker shades like the browns and stuff. They, um, they didn't take my fancy. But that is everything that I've been buying. Um, so yeah, just look forward to the next video of me swatching these out and I'll go into a little bit more detail on how I plan on using them depending how they act in the swatching video. We shall see. But if you're new, please do subscribe. It really, really does help my channel out and give me a big thumbs up. I will try my best to leave everything in the description along with these two different art shops that I went to. So yeah, so thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.